Hey guys, it's Play Girl VSG coming into you with my week 42 post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. I had surgery December 5th, 2013 with Dr. J. Jan at Legacy Good Samaritan Hospital. I started the two-week pre-op diet at 301.2. I weighed in day of surgery at 291.8. I weighed in last week, I think it was 205. I didn't make notes because I did my video in the car. So, um, I think it was 205 and I weighed in this week at... 203.4 for a total loss of, I think that's 1.6 pounds. Um, I need to find a pen. Okay, sorry. Um, something to note, however, is that um, I, oh, so for a total loss this week of 1.6 and for a total loss since the two-week pre-op diet of 97.8 pounds. Almost there. Um, that makes sense. I have 2.2 pounds left to get to 100. Yeah. That's right. Okay. So, um, the 203.4 is definitely the smallest number I've seen on the scale thus far. Um, so that's a big deal. Um, I did start the two week, uh, I'm sorry. I started the five day pouch test on Monday and I weighed in Monday at 206.8. So technically I'm down three, three point four pounds since Monday. I mean, I'm sure some of it's water. Also, my hormones are playing, I know I've been saying this for months, but my hormones are playing mean, mean tricks on me because I've been on Shark Week for a full week and a half. I have a whole other week to go because it's my scheduled Shark Week next week. I'm fucking sick of this shit. Seriously. Um, so I was going to do a food finds video for you, but I actually got some cool stuff in the mail. And so I think I'm just going to do them all together. I'm also going to do an ice cream video. Um, especially like focusing on non-dairy, um, ice cream alternatives. So I will do that in the next couple weeks and may not make it part of my, um, weekly update, may just do something different. So I started the, uh, five-day pouch test on Monday. Today's day four. Um, pretty happy with how things have been going. My restriction is definitely, uh, back on par with what I would expect. I was finding that I could eat a lot more, um, food at a time, which is fine. I mean, it's like a cup or a cup and a quarter, you know, like not a crazy amount of food. Um, but you know, it's kind of nice to be able to just stick to that half a cup to a cup, um, and not be like, Oh yay, look, I can eat a cup and a half. Like I just want to keep my portion sizes under control because if I know I can eat more, I will. So, um, I think I'm going to do the five day pouch. I mean, this is pretty easy. I mean, the two day liquid diet was pretty, um, the first day was, was good, easy. And the second day towards the end of the day, I was like, I'm so over this. Cause you know, once you're done with the liquid phase, like you never want to go back. And I have a shake every morning as it is. So, um, so I think I'm going to do it every quarter just to kind of like get back to basics and increased restriction. I think it's a good plan. So we'll see how that works out. This is obviously, it's been almost 10 months and this is the first time I've done it. Um, but I'm really pleased with it so far. Um, my point of doing it was of course to kickstart weight loss, which I have a little bit, um, but more so was to increase restriction. So that's been working out. Um, I have a bunch of travel coming up. I was going to just tell you about. So this weekend I'm heading to the coast, um, for my book club. My girlfriend has a, um, cabin there. So we're going to be doing that for book club with some girlfriends, girls weekend or whatever. And then, um, sorry, I look like a ragamuffin. I'm on three day hair here and I'm had their workout sc yoga scheduled at 1230, but it was really at 12. So I got there late and I missed it. Even though no one was there and she could have taught the class anyway, it was only 10 minutes. Like it was like 1210 or 1215. Like she could have totally taught the class, but whatever. Um, so I was disappointed about that. And I found out that my workout tomorrow was anyway, I'll get there. Um, upcoming travel to the coast this weekend. Next weekend is home, but busy. Um, I'm going to go see Kinky Boots, which is a Broadway uh, musical that's coming to Portland and have coffee with friends and workout and yoga and things like that. And then I've got, of course, the weekend after that is Seattle. And then I think I've got two weekends home and then I leave for Arizona for a week and I'll be there for Halloween. So that'll be really fun. And I'll be going to visit Go Teams VSG. And, uh, I will see one of my high school friends while I'm there. So that'll be cool. And, um, so a couple things I want to talk about. Um, I'm really, uh, working out a lot right now. Um, some days I'm doing two workouts. If you consider yoga a workout, cause sometimes it's yin yoga and sometimes it's just regular yoga. That's going to really start kicking in next week in terms of the two workouts a day. Today was meant to be a two workout day, but, um, it didn't 
pan out, obviously, because I was late to my workout. Tomorrow I was going to go to a half isolation, half, um, what do they call it, half isolation, half something else at the, um, at the Kettlebell Studio, but I just found out the class got canceled, so I'm super bummed, because I'm leaving for the weekend, it was the only, like, my ex membership expired, so that was the last class I could take, so I'm super, super sad, it's the second class in a row that's got canceled, so, whatever, um, this guy, who apparently had VSG, like, seven years ago, and is a personal trainer, and his muscles are, like, this big, like, seriously, like, his arms are, like, crazy, um, he is doing, like, a test group of weight loss surgery patients, um, he's a personal trainer, and he wants to do, like, a 12-week, commit to four days a week, um, workout thing, like, challenge, like, take your weights, take your measurements, get enough protein, and work out four days a week, and he provides the workouts, and they, everyone is starting on Monday, but I don't know if I can start on Monday. I may have to wait for a couple weeks because I have so many workouts scheduled between bar and, like, circuit training and yoga, and I don't really know if I can add another four workouts in a week. Like, I'll be, I don't want to hurt myself, you know what I mean? Like, pushing too hard. Um, so my workouts over the next few weeks are going to be, like I said, yoga, and that's range, ranges from yin yoga, which is really, really relaxing and, like, more working into the deep fascia of your muscle. Um, more of like prolonged stretching than it is like balance. Um, but some of it will be balance, balance and strength. Um, some of it will be kundali yoga, which is like um, creates a lot of heat and a lot of energy and a lot of breathing work. And um, it's great. I've only done it once or twice and it was hard and it was fun. Um, I'll be doing some hatha yoga, which I don't have a lot. I mean, I've done several yoga classes, but not consistently because I always think it's so hard. But now that I'm carrying a little just about 100 pounds less, um, maybe it'll be a little easier, and I'm stronger, um, I have some, like, circuit training slash boot camp slash insanity classes scheduled at the, um, Aspire Total Fitness, which is in Clackamas, and, of course, the bar circuit, bar, booty bar, um, classes that I'll be taking, um, so I'm either going to start that, um, weightlifting thing on Monday with everyone else and just figure it out, or I'm going to start it two weeks from now when things start to die down in terms of like group bonds that I've cashed in for other workouts and stuff like that. So that's really, that's all that's new with me. Um, just a lot of travel coming up, a lot of workouts. I'm really busy with that, trying to maintain some level of a social life, trying not to hurt myself. <laughs> um, I don't really feel any smaller. I still saw the number on the scale and I'm a little bit in denial about it. Like, I can't believe that's me. Um... I bought a size 14 pair of Levi's. They fit like a pair of gloves. And I fit, like, I basically fit into size 14 pants now. And I'm just like, that's so weird. You know, like, I don't know. Deep Thoughts by Fly Girl VSG. Um, keep an eye out on makingprogress.me for my part two of my blog that's going to be coming out today, I think. So I was told I was told it was going to come out Tuesday. It did not. So we'll see. Um, I guess that's a short update for you guys today. Just, um, yeah, excited for the fall. And it's a beautiful day here. And the five-day pouch test is going good. I'll probably do a video maybe on my way to the coast tomorrow um, or Sunday because I will be out of town and don't have internet service where I'm going to be at to tell you about how the five-day pouch test ended. I will say that um, the group this weekend is about split at least at least three to three or, or two to four on drinking, and I am not going to drink this weekend because I'd really like to see that. I'd really like to see 201.2 next week. I would. I don't even know what I'm going to do. It feels really weird. I... Um, I will say this really quickly. Um, people who haven't seen me um, very often, they keep saying, you're so tiny, you've shrunk, you, you're, you're, you've withered, you know, like, I mean, they're being complimentary, but you've withered away. And in my mind, I feel the same as I was in, like, April. I'm not. I mean, what was I in April? Let me look at my notes. In April... Let's say at the last weigh-in in April, I was at 227. So 
I mean, granted, that's five months, and I've only lost 23 pounds, 24 pounds in five months. Ooh, that's not good. Um, but I'm not, I'm totally shaped differently, too, than I was in April. So, it's amazing how much weight you lose those first few months. I mean, I have lost 75 pounds in just under five months at that point. Five months, basically. It's incredible. And then it's been stuck. And then I've been just here in the low 200s ever since. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm so disappointed about my workout tomorrow. Otherwise, things are good. Things are fine. Everything's good. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a good weekend, and I will touch base with you soon, and all that good stuff. So keep it fly out there, guys. Bye.